Okay guys, uh, so I filmed a uh, what's in my bag video, so you guys are about to watch that right after this little intro. I just need to say I am sorry because I forgot to check where my head was in the, in the video. So I'm gonna be like headless uh, for the first half of it, but you're not watching it for me, you're watching it for the stuff anyways. Uh, so hope you guys enjoy. Please share, like, subscribe. Uh, when I was a uh, newer photographer, these videos were my favorite videos to watch just to see what people were using, having. So this will change all the time. So maybe I can do this once a year just to kind of keep you going. But as of right now, as of February, March 2016, this is a kit that I use. This is what I found that that's amazing in what I do. Um, and to see more of my work, just head to jeremylew.com. Um, and I'm there. Uh, you guys enjoy. Bye. What's up, guys? It's a uh, new bag day. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests to do a what's in my bag. Um, this is a bag that I take with me everywhere. It's a Low Pro AW200. Um, this bag, unfortunately, went through a little bit of an accident. Uh, I broke the zipper here. I'm not really sure what I did, but I'm sure I did it, um, which kept this open. So I got a new bag, which is sitting kind of off camera here. Um, so I'm gonna switch it out today, but I thought instead of doing it both, I'll just kind of pull out what's in here, put it to the side. That way I can kind of reset my bag. I don't even know if you guys could see me that high up. Anyways. Let's see what we got on her. So this bag is awesome. Um, a quick review on the bag. Tons of compartments. I went from Think Tank to this. Uh, this has um, pretty much the same as all bag. All little compartments you can adjust inside. Um, everything you could possibly need to adjust within the bag. Uh, and the cool thing about this bag is that it actually unzips. This bottom part unzips. This whole compartment comes out and um, this will zip over and it'll become like a backpack of sorts and then you'll get kind of an empty shell. The empty shell isn't padded, isn't secure, so it's not like you can uh, double this up for like your um, strobes or anything like that. Uh, but maybe throw in some clothes if you need this on a trip and then you need to check a bag, check the smaller bag, take the bigger one, throw it on as a backpack, um, just in case, but it's kind of cool. So I'm gonna kind of start pulling things out and we'll kind of rock it. So I'm gonna start with the main compartment and kind of go from there. So I have two 5D uh, Mark III's that I use. Uh, primarily when I shoot, um, this is more of like a natural light kind of thing or more of a wedding bag. Uh, my strobes are in a different compartment. They come with me if I need it. So I have two 5D Mark III's um, and I use a spider system, which you'll kind of see the little things that go into my spider belt. I primarily shoot with one all the time unless I'm shooting at the wedding. Then this bad boy, spider system as well, but doesn't have, uh, I, I leave it on just, just in case, the actual mount, but it doesn't have the pins on here because I put my 7200 in here all the time and it just sits on my belt within the collar. So when I pull that, I'll show you. So we have two 5D Mark III's. Uh, we have a Canon 100 um, IS 2.8. Uh, my macro lens, ring, shoes, details, makeup, great for portraits as well. We have a Sigma 35 1.4 Sigma art lens, sold my Canon um, Prime for this. This thing is fucking sweet. Effing sweet. I don't know who's watching this. Uh, 16 to 35 Canon, beautiful. My widest angle lens that I have. I love these. If you guys notice, I store all my lenses without the cap face down. All of the electronics are here on the back. Um, so the most padding I feel is on the top. So that when I close it and I move it, nothing happens. I've done this for three or four years. Nothing bad has ever happened to my lens. Um, I just don't feel right storing it up like this into my bag. I'm afraid something's gonna hit there. I also don't put any filters on my lens. Um, I mean, you have an expensive piece of glass and you're shooting through a cheaper piece of glass. So I have insurance, we rock it out. Um, I think that's totally fine. I think that rocks. So pretty. All right, cool. So we got Bayet. I have a, a Canon 85mm 1.2. I love this thing. Uh, this is my go-to portrait lens, especially for dudes. Uh, it's been dropped once right here, but it doesn't do anything to it. So pretty cool. So we got Bayet. 
Sigma 50 mil 1.4, same as a 35. Uh, speed lights. So I had um, Canon R, Canon 600 RTs. Um, I had four of those at one point. And I was then doing some research into the Young Nuos. Uh, so this is still a Canon one. I bought the Young Nuos. Now I have one Canon, three Young Nuos. This one was like six something. This one was like 150. So they work the exact same, same components, same everything. Nobody can tell a difference. I can't either. Uh, so if you're in the market, Young New is the way to go. Canon, upgrade. I mean, you know, it's just for the Canon name. We're buying stuff for the Canon name, but if it's not different than anything else, and the Young Nuo actually has a few more features, like a, a battery sensor, um, a little light that pops up. Um, yeah, it's, it's a little crazy. And if I break it and drop it, I don't have to freak out. I can just buy a new one, try to fix it, do whatever. With that, I also have uh, the YNE3RT Young Newell's version of what the Canon has. Again, identical to what Canon has. I think this was like, I want to say under 150. I can't remember the exact price. Uh, this sits in my bag as well. This fires off. Um, this is a master for all of these slaves, or I can make any one of these masters of these slaves. Awesome stuff for weddings. I'm doing more speed lights at weddings. Uh, try not to bring strobes at all. The last six weddings, no strobes at all, just speed lights, and it's been freaking amazing. Uh, just a few little odds and ends, little cleaners. Always have to have lens cleaners everywhere. I mean, you buy something, you get like 15 of them. Um, so I use a MagMod system. I love the MagMod system. I actually just won uh, People's Choice, which is pretty cool for a wedding dress that I did. These things are sweet. Um, you guys can do a review on them. It takes me a little second to get it on. This just goes onto here, wraps around on any speed light you have. And then right on top of that, you get to throw this bad boy on, onto the uh, magnet. So if you can imagine this goes into this, and there's, there's right now about four modifiers. They have another one coming out soon. Um, but this thing is awesome. This can change the way you shoot. No more Gary Fonging it. Uh, we have this. So we have, within this little baggie, I have, I don't know, four or five of those. Those go on all my speed lights when I pull them out ready to shoot. Snoot. I think they call this one the mag bounce. Uh, goes up, pushes a light out, right? So you can put this kind of anywhere, fill in a room. And it also, I think, uh, multiplies your flash power by like two or three. So I got two of those babies two of those bubbles, and then the mag sphere pops up, think of the light going everywhere, or it softens the light going straight out at you. Cool. Of course, I think every photographer in the world has this. Uh, I shoot with the Canon 5D Mark III, two of them, so I need to carry both SD and compact flash. I just shoot to multiple at the same time, so we have our uh, think tank for our SDs. Think tank for our compact flash. You guys have seen that a billion times. Again, with the MagMod system, these are all gels that can go on. Uh, so I just have individual color gels. I can throw these on the top of my speed lights in literally half a second. Um, get some cool color going on. I have a few tools that I kind of bring with me. Um, an Allen wrench set, because uh, everything's Allen wrench, especially my spider system, anything I need to fix. All in one kind of tool. Of course, you need a flashlight. We do this for our idiot checks at the end of the night. Uh, at the end of the night, I kind of walk through with a flashlight everywhere that I've been in the venue to make sure that I have everything. Uh, again, some more tools. I've had, I needed this one once or twice, so I'm not even sure what for anymore, but I needed it. Oh, forgot to pull out. 7200 uh, with my spider on the collar. Guys, if you're using the spider system and you are not using the collar for your 7200, it will pull on your battery. Um, this goes into here, this goes into your belt. What happens is the weight pulls all the way down, which will lift this and pull on your battery. It's not gonna do serious damage to your camera, but as you're shooting, it will shut off your camera. If, you're, if you grab 10 shots, it's only recorded five, the other five are missing and gone. Um, use the collar if you're using this. Um, huge, huge deal. I know a ton of people aren't, and um, I didn't, and I learned the hard way. Miss the kiss.
missed a kiss. Um, the cool thing with the low pro bag is it came with these two little pouches. So in one of them, I just have chargers, uh, odds and ends, hot shoes, cold shoes, cords, anything that I feel I need, I may need on the fly that I've used in the past. I rarely open this, but it's there just in case. This is just full of batteries, man. All these little cases of batteries, double A's and triple A's, and a few um, smaller batteries for the CyberSync system that I use as well. This is from Think Tank as well. Extra batteries from a Canon. A little lab battery holder. I like things that have holders in them. That just makes me feel good. Gotta go through this. So the last thing I have in this compartment is um, Joe Busnick. I saw this on Creative Live and I snagged it. Um, pretty cool. So this is just a, uh, a video light, the Frezzy Mini Fill. And you plug this bad boy into this. This is a battery pack, turn it on and you get a bright orange light. Um, you can put a cooler filter on it. And I use this a lot for dark weddings uh, during the ceremony, especially if I need a fill because I don't want to be flashing through a ceremony, but I can put a light and, and video it out, especially if there's a videographer there. I'm not messing with their lights as well. So this whole pouch has a system. This is in here now. It will be going into my flash bag because I don't use it as often as I should and it's just taking up space most of the time. So we have this whole kind of system here. Oh, so we're gonna leave that out. Cool, so that's kind of the main compartment there. <laughs> my feet are falling asleep. Time out. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm back. That's why I make sure I'm recording and I'm not like at 20 minutes yet. So, um, in this cool little side pouch thing uh we have just little compartments so i do an ipad system when i'm at a wedding and uh it's pretty awesome so i will put uh i can take directly from my dslr into my ipad pull 10 or 15 20 images from the wedding and put it on my ipad to stream this is what i need for it uh every, i think everybody's a little bit different um i have a system, if you guys wanna know how I do it, comment below, I'll do a video on it. It's a little bit of a process on how I had to figure mine out. With new updates that happen with the iPad and the software, everything changes every single freaking time, so you have to be ready for it and, and plan a little bit sooner. Uh, CF reader, straight to camera reader. Again, square. Just little, little tiny pieces for your business, little square thing just in case I need to run a credit card anytime or somebody does. I have the CyberSync trigger here, uh, just in case I am using my um, my Einstein's and I need to, to pop that off. Have that there, extra little pieces for my spider belt. I got two of them. I'll kind of do an overview of this in a second too, just kind of like an overflow. And then just, I think every photographer should have this, just like a selfie thing, just a little timer. Little self shutter so I can be far away, kill some awesome stuff. I used to have the one with the cord when I first started. I didn't know that existed. Uh, now we kind of get into the second pouch here. And these are all just little tiny miscellaneous stuff. Again, tons more cleaner things just to keep everything nice and clean in case I need it. Uh, I don't use it as much as I should. Uh, we have some uh, stands for all my flashes that came with, with everything. Just a few little stands. And then I just have these extra, I, I went to WPPI last year and in the MGM Grand there's a little like candy shop and they had all these like super cool lip tattoo, you know, stick on tattoos. Um, so I used it once, it's almost been a year. I haven't used it since, but I, I, I keep it in here just to remind me to use it and I always forget. So another reminder for myself. Uh, the bottom one here is more Magmod stuff. So these are um, just more modifiers for the Magmod. I kind of went through a few of them just to know we have some more grids. Narrow down your beam. You can stack these on top of each other to make a tighter beam if need be. Uh, these are gel housings. So this just goes on top. We have some more gel colors here. And they just slide right in. So Magmod system is awesome if you guys are looking into it or are speed light shooters. Um, I highly recommend you just rock it out. So we're almost done with this. Thanks for hanging in, guys.
the front pouch, uh, I have a few things. So I have a portable battery with me. This is awesome for my phone. Uh, just keep this bad boy charged. I got this on Amazon. This thing's freaking awesome. Uh, I think it'll last through like six and a half iPhone full charges, something like that, and whatever the equivalent to iPad is. Uh, but then I keep this charged, ready to go with a little um, thunder lightning bolt cable that goes in here so I can charge my phone at any time, just in case I need it. I'm always a big worrier that I will lose my stuff. Um, USB charger, just in case. White trash bags. Wedding dresses are white. We want Bryce to sit on the ground. I just open this. Sometimes I'll rip it open and lay it on the ground. Um, it matches white, so photoshopping will be easier if it does poke out a little bit. But this way, she's not sitting on the flat ground. Have a couple of these in your bags at all times. It's kind of weird. And then I guess if you need to pick up trash, you can too. Um, I have a... Dude, what's this called? Cat, caliper, cat. this thing. Um, in it I have a couple things I got from Kickstarter. I love Kickstarter. So I have a little uh, bottle opener, but more importantly, it's a screwdriver. And um, just in case I need to screw anything on, like a rapid box or anything like that. And then I have this sweet X-Acto knife. And that just sits in my bag just in case. Always be prepared. Boy Scouts. I was not in the Boy Scouts. Receipt. Miscellaneous things like pens. Emptying this bad boy out. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, uh, sticky tack. I don't know what this is called. Putty uh, for ring shots. You can put this under a ring, set, you, set it down, and then the ring kind of stands up. Really cool to have, lasts forever. Um, buy the smallest amount you can. What else, what else, Becky? All right. There's another zipper in here. It's gonna pull everything out and then we'll go through it. So uh, just a few knickknacks. Again, dude, I have way too many of these. Uh, microfiber cleaners, just a whole bunch. Um, I have a few things of Gorilla Glue, Super Glue, just in case I need to glue things together. I bought these for a reason and I don't remember why. I think I used one once um, and I just ordered them on Amazon. What I do at a wedding is if I feel like I need something, I'll just go on Amazon, order it, so I have it by the time, uh, you know, a couple days later when I get home. I don't ever use it. Advil, just in case, for me or the bride. And uh, tied to go, uh, blood, wine, anything on a dress, this is a lifesaver. Make sure you get some of that. And then just a few more cleaning things. For stuff, I rarely use these. I have two of them. I don't know why I have two of them. I think I thought I lost one. And and uh, went and purchased one. So that's all within there. And then the only other thing, so in this little pouch right here is where I keep my iPad. Uh, I don't have a laptop. Um, I, I just know I'll be editing everywhere and I don't wanna do that with my life. Um, I don't use this anymore, but I keep it just in case for my speed light. This will wrap around any speed light. It's the pocket box, I believe from Westcott. Uh, but you know what, don't quote me on that because it doesn't say anywhere on here. So I'm just assuming. Uh, but this will go into your speed light, open it up, create a nice soft box. This is cool, but it's still a small surface area. Um, but really cool on the fly, if I have a second shooter that needs something like this, I'll just pull this out and have them use it. Uh, manila folder, documents, timelines for the day. So this is what I leave in my bag. I think that is everything. Uh, business cards will go back here, but it doesn't matter. Uh, this is cool, I have a rain thing. So this works fine, it's just this, so I might have to cut this off. Uh, they asked me not to sell it, so I will not sell it because it's broke. And then a little tripod holder, although this is the other thing. This thing just fell off. I don't know where it went, uh, so it's gone forever. But I love these little, what are these called? Calipers? I want to say calipers, but that's wrong. Car car carabiners, carabine? Carabiners. Caribbeans. Um, but other than that, that is it. If you guys have any questions on anything I've just done, please comment below. If you guys want details on anything that I did, again, this is my wedding, um, my wedding bag. On top of this, I will bring a bag of tripods, a rapid box, duo, rapid box, regular, uh, ice light, and that's it. So just really, really small stuff. My assistant can help me grab. Um, and I will say that I use all of this stuff during a wedding. So uh, being prepared is the way to go.
Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry for the PJs. And here's everything I just pulled out. Always pull out.